all right guys so in this video uh, we're talking about sales panels all right now if this is your first time on my channel i want you to subscribe because on this channel i talk about home-based businesses online businesses profitable digital skills and various ways you can profit from the internet so you don't want to miss any of my content so please consider subscribing and hit the like button as well so let's move on what are sales funnels sales funnels are basically sequences or step-by-step -step, uh, presentation that you put together to lead someone to make a, a sale on the internet basically it's like you are trying to automate your sales process without having to be there physically all right so this is an example i got from the 72 ig program by tony yamato show as you can see here, there's the ad which can be a facebook ad an instagram ad any ad on social media or a google ad and then we have what we call the sampler content or the pre-sale content that's the text that you add to the advertisements all right those texts that you see on the ads you see some some posts they've written sponsored sponsored those sponsored posts are ads their social media ads then there's some opt-in page so sometimes you see an ad then it's like um when you click on learn more or the call to action button as soon as you click on it you see enter your details why right? you want to opt in you want to opt to what's the name be in that video sorry about this no sorry opt to see um the presentation so there's the opt-in um option then depending on what you do if you make a sale if you make a purchase sorry you're gonna have a thank you page and it i mean actually panels depend on you okay you can create any panel let me see if there's another example let's see if this is good this is another example there's an ad then it can be a presentation like a blog on a web page then there's an opt-in page if the person wants to make a purchase and it moves on and on the reason why there are email follow-ups is that sometimes the person is a cold audience or can we say cold audience he's not really interested he just stumbled upon it because most people on the internet are not looking to come and buy stuff they just came to interact so when they see something that they are now interested in they may still be cool like they are not yet really warm about it they're not really excited about it so your email follow-ups would ultimately lead to what we call a sale a sale eventually okay so the thing is, is at the end of the day all you're trying to get you to see is the presentation and for you to make a purchase and it's as simple as that so for you who is getting into internet marketing or online businesses you need this very well and let me show you an example of um, one of my funnels all right so this is an ad i put out okay and um i don't know why it's not displaying why i think i have to log in i don't log in but usually you see a call to action you see learn more you see shop now all of that down there okay then i click on this so let's say uh, this part of the this is a link i want them to go to right i click on this link so usually okay this is what we call a squeeze page all right now a squeeze page can be your funnel now what's a squeeze page it's a web page that you squeeze in between your ad and your final landing page now if you go on, on, on any web uh, on any website okay now let me show you one of my websites this is one of my e-commerce stores this is what we call the pages okay this is the, the back end this is the wordpress that dashboard so i can create a page here all right and i'm done creating the page depending on the purpose i want the page to serve it can be um, a thank you page it can be um it can be a landing page and it can be an opt-in page or a squeeze page so what's a thank you page a thank you page is the final page that you put there you tell your customers thank you and any further details right so depending on what you use the page for it serves as purpose what's a squeeze page a squeeze page is the page that you place in between your ad like i've done here so this is my ad and this is the page i've squeezed in between you put that page in between your ad and your final landing page the landing page is the final page that they're going to make a purchase all right and why do you squeeze why do you put the a squeeze page there because you don't want facebook to ban you facebook has a lot of restrictions and maybe some of these online pages have a lot of restrictions so you don't want their policies to affect your advertisement so you squeeze a page in between and that page must be friendly to the facebook policies or the social media policies all right so as you can see i put this page here it's actually a sexual enhancement um energy drink all right for men so this is a squeeze page okay before finally if anybody clicks on this button you see to go in so if let's say i put um, a requirement here to give me your email and your number that's an opt-in page you're opting in all right so again it depends on the purpose of the page so let's click on this and see i won't show you the full page because some details are not necessary so again as you can see this is the final landing page but where do where do make their final buying decision all right it's as simple as that 
So this is a, a, an example of a funnel. So how do you create a funnel? You need, first of all, a website. So when you, when you have a website, okay, first of all, when, when you buy a website, you can buy a website from Namecheap, which, which is one of the best. You can get it for, I think, about 180 CDs or so, depending on the extension. When we say extension, like the .com and all those stuff. And I think it's one of, they're one of the best when it comes to websites. I think I got mine for, I think, $26. So I don't know the conversion rate as of now. But um, you can get a website for an equal amount. Let's check it. $26 to see this. Okay, so my 150 Ghana CDs, all right? So all you have to do is just go to namecheap.com. Namecheap.com. I want to do this quickly. And then you can, you click on sign up, all right? And quickly create an account. The way you're done, they're going to send you an email. Go and verify your email and you're good to go. So if you want to get a, a website, you can come here to hosting. Then, yeah, you can come to host, hosting. You can come to, I think, shared hosting. All right. Or you can also use this step of searching for a domain name. So let's say you want to call your website um, Happy Stop. Okay. Go to search. Happy Store. Go to search. So there's dot co. That means somebody has taken the dot com. Okay. So let's say Happy Store Ghana. Good. So the dot com is available, right? And you see, you can buy it at this price and you move, All right? So you go to add to cart and you just add the number of stuff. I'm not doing a complete video here because it's going to take some time. All right. But you can go um, on the, on YouTube and search for videos on how to buy a name cheap account. And also the other places where you can get a cheaper website, you can go to upperlink.ng and I'll leave links in the description so that you can get it at cheaper prices. All right. Upperlink.ng. You can also go to um, uh, Speedy Connect. That's one of my best. Let me see. Speedy Connect dot net. Okay. And all of them is the same thing. You create an account. Okay. You can go to home, you create an account, and you move. Same with this. Create an account and you move. For Speedy Speedy dot 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 Speedy Connect dot com dot net, sorry. You can get it for about 180 CDs and that's the dot com and this one you can get it for about um 71 CDs if you choose the dot net option dot ng sorry if you choose dot ng option that's when you're trying to get the website you can get it for cheap okay so do all to by the way let me just explain this about websites we have what we call the domain the domain is the name of a website and we have what we call the hosting that's um the plots or where the where the website is actually located I'll put it this way domain is like your address okay and um hosting is like where you stay so if let's say i stay in accra okay that's my hosting if my house is called uh gt123 like that's my street address name that is my um my domain okay i hope that's clear so you need this to when you're done when you're done purchasing you're going to get some information in your email and you see that the, the information the right new account information then you look for the C panel, all right? I can't do all this because I don't want to use my current um, email. I don't want to give some details out. So you see the C panel. Once you see the C panel, you just go on it and you log in. They'll give you the details, the username and everything. They'll give it to you. You can go and change the, the details later. But once you, you log in, you look for software class apps and you install what we call the WordPress. Okay, the WordPress is this page you're seeing. Okay, let me go here instead. Uh, no, 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 sorry. Um, let's see. Uh, what's happening? Okay, so the WordPress is ba basically this. Okay, this part. Okay, that's the WordPress. And you can go and create your own pages, all right? Now, let's say you saw this video, you enjoyed it very much, and you're looking for how best you can create your own sales funnels and automate sales, okay? I have a course I've been preparing for a while now, but the problem is Facebook re released an update that has affected it. You know, I like to do things beginner friendly. I want it to be such that if you're a beginner and you watch it or you, you learn it, okay, you would be able to make one or two things from it. I plan to release it in August, but 
I've still not found my way out of the Facebook ad wahala. And I'm being honest with you because there are so many people out there okay, who claim to be making good sales with Facebook, but they are constantly getting banned because Facebook has become extra, extra strict and it's no more beginner friendly. Like something that beginners could have done, that was just like last year, 2020. Currently, it's very difficult to do the same thing. So have patience with me. I promise to release the course. Once I release it out, I've done my research and everything. I'll make it available to all of you. And um, I said I'm going to do it in two ways, two packages. 100 Ghana cities, you're going to get the basics. Um, that's those who can't afford to buy websites, all right? I'm going to make it very basic for you so that you can even automate it with your WhatsApp. I'll show you how to create a WhatsApp e-commerce store and direct people through Facebook ads to your WhatsApp e-commerce store for them to make purchases. But let's say you have a website or you want to buy a website, that's the 200 Ghana cities option where I'll show you the funnel creation, how to create funnels, all right? So I'm going to leave links in the description to buy websites for cheap if we are if you are ready to buy a website, okay? And um, I'm also releasing my ebook very soon, so just anticipate. So if you had, if you got value from this video and you enjoyed it, leave a thumbs up and also a comment and share the video. Okay, I appreciate whatever you do. Thank you.